Um, against Omicron, many of the vaccines have shown a reduction in efficacy against uh, infection. And that's why we see a lot of breakthrough infections, but these are mostly um, not resulting in severe disease. So, uh, so that's a positive. Um, there is some waning which occurs over a period of time. And we've seen that uh, there's a slight drop in the protection, again, mostly against infection, but also a little bit against uh, the severe disease. And we need more of those studies. We need to follow this out. And that is why we've said putting all of this together, the aim is to protect the most vulnerable, to protect those at highest risk of severe disease and dying. Those are our elderly populations, the immunocompromised, people with underlying conditions, but also healthcare workers, because if a lot of healthcare workers get infected, as we see now, they can be out sick and we don't want them getting uh, severely ill, so to reserve boosters uh, for that population. Um, there's no evidence right now that healthy children or healthy adolescents need boosters. No evidence at all. Um, there's no evidence right now that healthy children or healthy adolescents need boosters. No evidence at all. So this is why the SAGE, which is our uh, technical uh, expert body that makes policy recommendations, has been meeting and will continue to meet, will meet later this week to consider the specific question of how should countries think about giving boosters to their populations with a view to protecting people 